Hello, um, it's me, Gil, from Gil Crafts and Graphics. Thanks a lot for joining me. So for today, what I'm going to be talking about is basically engraving or marking um, white ceramic tile. Basically, this is like 99 cents. So what's kind of nice is this regular tile you could use to um, put some things on, could turn it into a coaster or however it is, or, or for all of you old school guys or gals, that likes the odd rods, I figured that would be something fun to do, which would allow me to learn because I'm going to be doing some mugs. So it's pretty much almost the same type of material. So what I'm using is to do this is um, titanium dioxide, which is the same stuff they put in foods. And it's the same thing they put in white paint to make it white. It's a mineral. And so um, I saw someone do this where they purchase some of the um, white titanium dioxide and mix it with um, isopropyl alcohol, or if you have something stronger, mine's at 91%, basically allows it to dry really well. And then you'll see in the process as I go through this video, um, my thought process and the steps I took in order to come up with my end result, which turned out pretty well. So thanks a lot for joining me in this video. And I hope it helps some of you guys out. For those of you that are trying to basically mark or engrave on white ceramic or porcelain. Okay, for today's um, thing I'm going to be doing is basically engraving on white tile. Now it looks white, but actually to me it looks like a light blue. And I did that by mixing both um, two tablespoons of titanium dioxide as well as, you know, um, maybe three or four or a quarter of alcohol. And I put it in a container and then you mix it around. And then I went ahead and put some vegetable dye in there in order so that I could tell the difference whether I'm getting full coverage. Now this is gonna be my third um, coverage that I did by spraying right, with this little thing. I purchased this on Amazon, so it's not too bad. So it allows me to do a very even um, application. I'm just that way. Now, the thing about the hydanium dioxide, it, it doesn't dissolve in the alcohol. What it does is it, it dilutes itself to where it's just a, a, a suspension in there. So it's critical that you shake this quite a bit in order to get it mixing around. So you could go ahead and... Um, spray it on there. So it's a really fine dust. It's the same stuff they use in paint. They use it also <laughs> for foods and stuff like that. And so I bought this also off of Amazon itself. And I got a ton of it in here. So I'm going to try this experiment using titanium dioxide, some alcohol, spraying it on there, and then seeing if I can engrave. But first I'm going to do a test. Okay, so I went ahead and create my test pattern. That's my tile. And I went ahead and placed it in there. Now it's been sprayed. Now you have to be careful. You make sure you don't put your fingers on it or anything. Touch it from the sides because this stuff will start blowing away. Now for this test, I am not going to run my air assist because I don't want it to blow that stuff off of the tile as it's burning it. All right, so I already checked everything. I'll go ahead and get this started. And it should take it. It's probably going to take it about 25 minutes or so. Just guessing. Oh, 10 minutes. So not too bad. So we'll see what the results will be. Okay, so it took it 10 minutes. Um, I just looking at the just by looking at it initially, I'm seeing that I am going to have to really did stuff. Now, if I wanted to engrave in order to put in an epoxy fill, now I know what I would need from there. Um, looks like it needs a little bit more heat, but actually I need to probably do a couple of more coats, but at least I'm getting something and it'll be easy to clean up versus before in the past when I was using paint I would get this type of result 
So at least line-wise, I could see it's not showing. So it's filling itself up versus this is when I did using the basically white paint. And you could see I was still getting lines and stuff with the exception of up here. So at least I got a solid, but I think I need to cover it a little bit more. So I'll just spray it a few more times. So I'm just about there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray a second one. I did the first one for testing. The second one is once I get the test results and I find the best um, speed and heat in order to engrave dark on porcelain, right, ceramic, which is also gonna be something that's gonna help me when I do mugs and stuff. So once again, titanium dioxide, isopropyl alcohol, if you can find something at a higher than 91, maybe 100 or 99, it would help, but it still dries pretty fast. So I placed it in my little airbrush, which I got on Amazon. So I'm gonna mix it around because it does settle. See, because actually it's just in a suspended state. So I'll turn this on and then I'll slowly brush. And you can tell it's basically what it does is after it dries, it dries to a powder. So I'll do, you know, one to two to three coats of this. And as you can see, it's in powder form because even if I were to rub here, I'll get it on my finger. So what it does, the alcohol dries and it holds the powder in place. And then I've seen other ways of doing this, but this seems the, the quickest and um, I like airbrushing anyway. So, so it works out, but you might want to do a different way. You could always buy basically white enamel paint because that's what has titanium dioxide in order to create white. So let me go ahead and do the test. So I'll take you over to my machine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is based on what I have here, I'm gonna go ahead and do an 82% of power, 360 in speed. And for all of you odd rod type individuals that like that, the rat think generation of the 70s, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to engrave this and see if my image test will work based on where I chose in around the middle of my test. So let's get this out. So it's gonna take, let's see, I already framed it. So it's going to take me about seven minutes. So let's see what happens. Get that going and see how it does. Now, I actually I gave it about three more coats of that in order to try to make it. So stay tuned. All right, so it's complete. So let's see what the results are. Oh wow! It made a difference. That's nice and dark. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. For all of you odd rod type folks out there. So we'll see once I washed it off. Okay, so I cleaned her up pretty well. Um it's on there permanently. Now, like any porcelain or tile, you scratch it with metal. It's going to come off but right now, even after washing. So it's on there. It melted it on there. So it seems pretty decent. I guess I met some success. The blinds are nice and black. So not bad. Okay, so not bad. Cool. So, so my mix I did then, to solve my problem, I did three tablespoons of titanium dioxide and then just put it in I put in one extra one in here because I had two previously and so I remixed and put it in there and I got the, these results 
and I know I'm moving around a lot. I'm going to end up cutting this a lot. So what I did for this, I went ahead and did, everyone's will be different, but I did 82 power, 360 as far as the speed. I used a Jarvis, right? Because I didn't do the line art thing. I just brought it straight over and I did 120 lines. So that brought the lines closer. So my guesswork worked out. A few more coats, maybe do four coats of that, the spray which isn't too bad because it dries really quick because of the alcohol. And then raise the temperature a little bit and it melts on there. Let's see if I can scratch it off. I don't want to, but. Nope, it seems on there. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot for joining me, and I hope this helps out for some of you that want to do engraving on white ceramic tile. Could be a good poster or something to put on the wall. Awesome.